I've 3D printed a lot of masks and helmets over the years, and I want to give you some tips to get the perfect fit, because nothing's worse than printing something for multiple days and then realizing it doesn't fit. Now first up, you're going to want to print these. These are called cosplay calipers. You can thank Uncle Jesse for these. And what you're going to do, you're going to measure a couple spots on your head. I like to go, you know, the widest spots, so like here, and then maybe front to back as well. And you're going to take those measurements, get a ruler, measure those, and you're going to use those to help determine the size of your helmet. Bamboo Studio actually has a measuring tool built in. It's pretty easy to use. So you just click on that. Then you orient your print in a way that you can see inside. Click on one side and then click on the opposite side and that will give you the distance between those two points. And then you can actually take that number and edit it. So say I had 180 as my measurement I was looking for. I just click on there, change it to 180 and then scale and that'll scale the whole model. And always give yourself an extra couple millimeters just because you don't want it too snug. And then once you've scaled your print to what you think is the correct size, it's always good to do a small test print. Lower your model through the bed until you find the spot you want to do the test print, then slice it. And you can either stop it manually after a few layers or program it in. So here's my little test print. So using this, I'm going to put it over my head and I can see it's very snug. It's kind of flexing a little bit, meaning once that helmet's big and solid, it's, this is not going to fit over. So I'm going to have to bump it up a few more percent and see how that goes. And if you want to be extra sure, just print a larger section. This is, you know, a big model, multicolors. It would be a lot of waste if it doesn't fit. So that's why I thought I would do this. And this fit, so now I'm good to go and do the full print. Another tip is to read the comments on the page of the model. People will say if it's too big or too small for their head. I noticed with this Daredevil one, a lot of people were saying it was too small. I know for a fact I have a big head, so I know I'm gonna have to make this even bigger. And that's how you get the perfect fit. You can see this one is just perfect. A slight pressure when I'm putting it down on, fits perfectly. Eyes are in the perfect spot. Everything fits wonderfully. It doesn't wobble too much when I move my head. You can always, you know, add padding to the sides because everyone's head is a little different shape, but that's about as good as it gets. 